Dating and relationships. Mm. Um, what are your thoughts on dating and relationships? Very quickly. Uh, I'm a very relationship oriented person, so I don't mm. really, um, I don't really uh, get the the one night stands type of thing. Um, uh, what exactly do you want to know? Because that's a very broad question. <laughs> um, so, it, how old are you? I'm 22. Are you in a relationship? No. Uh, would you like to be in a relationship? Yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. Um, why, you're an attractive girl. Why Thank do you, you think, why are you not in a relationship if you <laughs> would like to be in one? <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. I, hon- you, I have okay. no idea. What, do you, what are you blaming it on? Um, lack of social life. Uh, I have, I, I will take full accountability on that. Yeah, um, always I'm not, working. Yeah. Mm. I spent the past winter... Just my weekends, it was just either uni or work. Mm. And then if I got the chance to to slow down, I would be in bed because I was like, if I have a chance to to slow down and have a rest, I will I will be in bed. I don't I don't want to be out because I'm <laughs> <can> always <laughs> I'm always out working. I'm always on transport. I'm always on the tube. I'm always running. So if I can stop for one second, I will happily stay at home. Yeah. Um, so this has happened for the past three years. Yeah. Uh, and obviously I moved to London like three years ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I will blame the lack of social life for that. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I think uh, today um, people my age are not really looking into like long term relationships. And a lot of, of the, the situationships are based off... Um, uh, just being attracted to someone and like, mm. I always feel like oh y- you hear this next person say oh I'm attracted to you and I'm like being attracted to me doesn't mean anything to me because mm. everyone can just tell me that like you don't actually know me. being attracted to someone doesn't mean that you have feelings for them mm. and having and growing feelings feelings for someone is a serious um thing to say to someone else Mm. Um, it's not just being attracted to some, so being attracted to someone doesn't mean anything to me. It's very superficial because it's based off just what you see. But you know, you could be a super attractive person, and then your personality doesn't reflect that. Is you know? So. Would you would you ever put your career to one side and focus on trying to meet? Absolutely a not. Guy. No. <laughs> Do you, do you want do you want a family like children? And I a do. Family? I do. So, so but do you think that that's gonna happen as you're focusing on your career mm. at the same time? Or? Um, it's it's definitely gonna happen. I've got a lot of faith. I've got a lot of faith, so I know it's gonna happen. Uh, I'll meet someone eventually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, are you are you one day gonna like not work so much so that you can have more of a social life to try to meet someone, or are you gonna just keep working the way you are and just have faith that he will just land mm. in front of you so somewhere? Ideally, yeah. um, for you, my partner will understand how much I want to be involved uh, in the music industry and how much the career, my career, takes. Um, it, sort of like I don't know how to put this into work uh, into words but how much career means to me and I'm not giving that up so ideally my partner will understand that I don't, and I don't have to compromise yeah um okay. and I I would also want someone who's just as invested in their career as well I like people with ambitions um for themselves and a vision for themselves um so if you're if you're at home the whole day waiting for me to be back and be like, oh, we, we haven't really spent time together. No. I'm expecting you to be out there, like, just as much as I am. Okay. Um, yeah, that's just but how it is. Then, but then who's going to, who's going to, ha- where's the, the kids? Who's going to have the kids? Who's mm. going to look after the kids? Well, like? obviously, um, right now, mm. I'm 22. Yeah. Um, I enjoy being out a lot. Yeah. I think when I will get to the age, like between 30 and 40, I won't be out as much. I will yeah. have an established position. I will have set, set times yeah. dedicated to work. Um, because right now I'm building my profile. Yeah. So I have to work overtime. I have Got to yeah. go 
the extra mile. Hopefully, by the time I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to build a family, I will yeah. have like set times for work and do established you, positions. Do you think that? Uh, do you think that a guy? Do you think that a guy's gonna kind of? Because right now you're 22, yeah. Yeah. Between 30 and 40, you might look a bit older. You, you're gonna be a bit <laughs> older. Why are you single? <laughs> you're gonna be a bit older. It's it's things are gonna change a bit. Do you think yeah. it might be a bit more difficult, difficult for you to to meet a solid guy yeah. around then than and maybe easier to meet that guy now? Because like I think I saw a, a few studies that said that guys look for girls who are like between sort of eighteen, nineteen, mm. and twenty five. Mm. Um, so like those are the ages. But you're saying yeah. thirty to forty. Yeah. Um, so 30 to 40 would be ideally when I would, um, build a family. Ideally, I would meet someone before that. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I do think once you're, like, 30 going towards gets, 40... It gets a bit more difficult. It gets, it gets difficult yeah. and people start questioning, like, oh, why are you on your own? Um, so ideally, like, I would meet someone before that. Um, I guess we'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what are your thoughts on money quickly? Does money matter with this guy that you uh, hope no. to meet? No. no? Um, at all. Um, so I'm what, not attracted to money. I'm attracted to someone's drive and someone's passion and someone's personality and, and um, someone's take on, on life and, and dreams. I'm very big on that. Does, so so three out of those five things, dreams, passion and drive, mm. do those things, are those things code for like money, ambition? Like, because if you have passion, drive and dreams, yeah. that that usually means you're working towards yeah. becoming wealthy. Yeah. Um, not necessarily, no, I, no not necessarily so, so from, from a what, money. Okay, so what if a guy was like very passionate and driven and everything, but... Mm. But, you know, you you saw all the way through to the end of his life that he was only ever going to make 30k a year. Mm. Would that be okay? Yeah, I'm still making a living. Oh, you so don't have to be... Uh, you don't have to be, you know, like, extremely wealthy. Like, being successful doesn't mean being rich. Mm. And, like, being successful is a, is a concept that is very personal to everyone. Yeah. So for me, being successful means being happy with what you're doing right now. As if you're making a living out of what you're doing, and what you do makes you happy, and you lo- you love what you do, you're fine. To cool. me, that's that's the idea of being successful. Cool. Um, and you know, if if someone is like that, they make like what one point nine k a month. You're fine. Like you don't have to be extremely. Okay. You know. Oh, you have a good heart. Females who say, I'm a relationship person, I love being in relationships, whatever around those lines, is a female who's just been passed around. The men she got passed around with, she built this illusion of relationships. A lot of these females believe every relationship they have is real. I honestly do think females don't know what a real relationship is and don't like to acknowledge the fact the men they're entertaining doesn't even see them as anything real to him. So a lot of that rhetoric is an illusion they've made to cope with their unstable self. At 22, this female doesn't realise how she's dug herself a grave and sooner or later, she will have to pick what she wants or life will pick it for her. The first thing she said was a lack of social life. I just don't believe that. I'm sorry. In her prime years, social life is it impossible to have. In your prime years, being very active, being in and out of work, your social life isn't vacant. So that is a lie. This female is in the music industry. It's all about socializing. It's all about events. It's all about promoting. Social life is far from the problem. What it is though, is her mindset is the problem. 
this female convinces herself it's working uni the same way she convinced herself she's a relationship or she's relationship orientated is furthest from the truth it's a choice she's making to stay single what females don't like is how simple things are life is very simple when you realize you can only execute one thing in life very well it comes down to what you want to execute very well and how far you're willing to go for it she doesn't want to focus on the relationship she doesn't want to focus on the family unless the man of her dreams drops in the sky as she's hoping will happen it's a choice she's already made whether she realizes it or not now taking accountability for something that isn't true is why females stay delusional because now you've convinced yourself this lie you tell yourself about why you're single isn't true all she's doing is avoiding the truth from picking work or marriage but everyday career-driven females choose not to focus on marriage they're choosing work every day they reject a guy who's willing to take them serious they're choosing work every day a relationship doesn't go nowhere they're choosing it a lot of females do not want to admit this very simple truth how their reality is a choice which is why people her age are getting into relationship which is why they're getting into situationships it's a choice young females are making more in this generation and feminism has given them plenty of reasons to do it as well so much she believes in her 30s and 40s is a time period that is the best time to have a flourishing family and husband the proof is in the pudding females like her choose the single and childless life because waiting after your prime years has finished to have those things is letting every man know you want to be single and not have a family feminism and post-war females have lied to so many other females about how age doesn't play a part in having a family and a husband now it isn't just the time period that she's choosing to have those things it's also about what type of wife these females are looking to be another choice they're making all i hear is going to work throughout and never prioritizing in being a mother or wife her work is essentially always going to be her baby a man isn't willing to compete with you and your work your children shouldn't compete with you and your work her whole idea of marriage and family is very selfish as it's based around her job her career is always going to come first other people are going to raise her children other people are going to be doing her duties a man is looking for a stable healthy family is never going to marry a female like this as it's very clear the career is always going to be first this already shout neglected and emotionally troubled household it's a red flag for any man who wants to be in a healthy marriage and have a healthy family something these females they think choosing to be married or wanting to be married is enough to have those things is enough to have a great family is enough to keep a man a lot of these females don't realize it takes more than getting what you want it also is about working to keep it to keep a stable home a healthy home a positive home and a loving household what females like her believe is wanting and getting everything is all that matters as long as their needs are properly centralized then the rest is easily manageable when in reality it actually takes more sacrifices to do and have those things I'm your hostess, Remnant Princess. These are my last thoughts. These females don't realize it or do realize it, but don't want to accept. The fact is, they chose this reality. 
they chose to be single they chose to be career driven they chose to not have the crucial things that actually makes a woman happy and fulfilled in life it's a choice that they make let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye